Welcome back to this series I've called A Tinkering and a Twanging, uh, where I have rewritten the Psalms in a modern idiom. So today we'll be uh, listening to Psalms 9 and 10 from the ESV, the English Standard Version, and then you'll be hearing my version of those poems. And as I explained to you in the vlog, it's almost certain that they were originally one poem, and it's written as an acrostic, so that every two verses a different letter of the Hebrew alphabet introduces um, the the next set of verses. In Psalm nine, it's very very, it's very very fixed and, and ordered. Every two verses, the letters change. When you come to Psalm ten, it's more broken. Sometimes the the letter comes in the middle of another verse, um, and that's to suggest the the fractured nature of the thought processes of the poet there. And I've tried to uh, replicate that in some measure in my version. What I will do as I'm reading um, through the Psalms, uh, I will mention which Hebrew letter is being used. So you'll hear me uh, every so often saying something in Hebrew like Aleph or Bet. And that tells you that the next portion I'm reading to you uh, is uh, introduced by that letter uh, within the acrostic. So let's uh, have a go of it. Psalm 9, to the choir master, according to Muth Laben, death of the son, a psalm of David. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. This is Aleph. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Bet. When my enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before your presence. For you have maintained my just cause. You have sat on the throne, giving righteous judgment. Gimel. You have rebuked the nations. You have made the wicked perish. You have blotted out their name for ever and ever. The enemy came to an end in everlasting ruins. Their cities you rooted out. The very memory of them has perished. Hey. But the Lord sits enthroned for ever. He has established his throne for justice and he judges the world with righteousness. He judges the peoples with uprightness. Bav. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Zion. Sing praises to the Lord who sits enthroned in Zion. Tell among the peoples his deeds. For he who avenges blood is mindful of them. He does not forget the cry of the afflicted. Het. Be gracious to me, O Lord. See my affliction from those who hate me. O you who lift me up from the gates of death, that I may recount all your praises, that in the gates of the daughter of Zion... I may rejoice in your salvation. Tet. The nations have sunk in the pit that they made. In the net that they hid, their own foot has been caught. The Lord has made himself known. He has executed judgment. The wicked are snared in the work of their own hands. Higayon. Selah. Yod. The wicked shall return to Sheol. All the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Cough. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the nations be judged before you. Put them in fear, O Lord. Let the nations know that they are but men. Selah. And then the poem moves to Psalm 10, and uh, it moves on to the Next letter of the Hebrew alphabet, Lamed. Why, O Lord, do you stand far away? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In arrogance, the wicked hotly pursue the poor. Let them be caught in the schemes that they have devised. For the wicked boasts of the desires of his soul. Noon. And the one greedy for gain curses and renounces the Lord. In the pride of his face, the wicked does not seek him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. His ways prosper at all times. Samech, your judgments are on high. 
out of his sight. As for all his foes, he puffs at them. He says in his heart, I shall not be moved. Throughout all generations, I shall not meet adversity pay. His mouth is filled with cursing and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He sits in ambush in the villages. In hiding places he murders the innocent. Ayin, his eyes stealthily watch for the helpless. He lurks in ambush like a lion in his thicket. He lurks that he may seize the poor. He seizes the poor when he draws him into his net. Tsadi, the helpless are crushed, sink down and fall by his might. He says in his heart, God has forgotten. He has hidden his face. He will never see it. Cough. Arise, O Lord. O God, lift up your hand. Forget not the afflicted. Why does the wicked renounce God and say in his heart, you will not call to account? Resh. But you do see, for you note mischief and vexation, that you may take it into your hands. To you the helpless commits himself. You have been the father or the helper of the fatherless. Sin and Sheen. Break the arm of the wicked and evildoer. Call his wickedness to account till you find none. The Lord is king for ever and ever. The nations perish from his land. Tav, O Lord, you hear the desire of the afflicted. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, so that man who is of the earth may strike terror no more. And as I pointed out in the uh, the teaching vlog, cough, the letter cough, the letter Q um, is repeated. Uh, and we don't have uh, a verse beginning with Dalit, the D, or Kaf, which is the K, or Mem, which is the M. And I've tried to reproduce that in some fashion in, in my psalm. So obviously I'm not going to tell you what letter of the alphabet starting with. It'll be obvious. Uh, and I've been a little bit more um, obvious in, in the way that I've written these verses so i've used a lot of alliteration so the letter will turn up time and again within the um the verses so i haven't used the letter c i haven't used the letter k i've repeated the letter um s um and then because we only needed uh, fewer uh, letters of our alphabet the likes of x uh, and z don't appear um either or u but you'll see as we go along. So this is my version of this Psalm 9, a double acrostic. All praise to you, Lord God. All hail your name, almighty worker of wonders, doer of deeds. Be pleased to hear my case. Before your throne I bow. Baffle my enemies, banish them from your sight. Destroy the peoples dead meat. They are all doomed. Destruction and damnation, a distant memory. Everlasting God, enthroned eternal, establish just judgment, equity for all, for each and every one. Forsaken? <laughs> no, you have not forsaken your people. Forgotten? You have not forgotten. We shall not fear. Great God, our own gracious giant, we lift high your name. Our glorious God, give justice. Avenge us, we cry, we groan. Hear me, my God, hear my cry. I am at death's door, knocking. Here I would be in your house, your heavenly home down here. Impudent men, impertinent yet imprudent, into their own traps they are tumbling, snagged in their own snares. I wait for you, O Lord. I wait for your judgment. Time out. Time out. Just so. Just so. Back to the grave they go, these jokers. No joy for the peoples who jockey with God. He will judge justly. Stand up, O Lord. Sinful man shall be swept from your sight. 
Speak up, Lord God. See to it and sort them out. Show them, these men, Selah. Lord, this is Psalm 10. Lord, you have left me. The light has gone. All is dark. Look out for me and let your gaze look to the wicked. My God, he says, though he does not mean it. Oh, my God. But he does not believe. He expects no reply. He mocks your name. Not me, he says. Nothing moves him. No foe he fears. No God shall bring me to account. None dares like he dares. Over and over he oppresses and overwhelms them. Out of his mouth, offensive words. Otios, odious awful that he is. Poor people are his stock in trade, sharp practice and scams, the penurious, the powerless, these are the predators' prey. Ruin, he brings them to rack and ruin, he rests every last penny. Remember me, God? <laughs> right, God does not remember me. Stand up, O Lord, show your hand, sort him out, he Cocks a snoot, he doesn't give a hoot. Seize him and slay him. Turn, O Lord, return, O Lord. We trust in you, I trust in you. True one, you are our father. Not one of us is orphaned. Wicked men and wicked women will get what they deserve. Wise ones know the Lord is king. We watch, we wait. When, Lord? When you hear my cry, you hear us as we weep and wail, we yowl. You will bring justice in your time. Till then, yes, you weasels will get yours. You are but men.